and welcome back to my channel so I thought it would be nice to share with you guys like my plans on kind of becoming I don't want to say like a minimal list but having a minimal list approach when I do stuff so I just want to give you guys like a little bit of background history so I used to coupon a lot and I started to see that yeah I would find like great deals and yes I am really into donating but it becomes a point where some people it's a great idea and for others it may not be the best idea. So what I started to do is just purchase the items that I love, my family loves. Because what would happen is I would buy something for my son. I would buy a cereal. Maybe I find the cereal on sale for, you know, doing a coupon deal for a dollar or 64 cents or something. But what happens is you end up buying three of those and you end up you know my son would not even eat the cereal so i would end up donating the cereal or sometimes unfortunately it would even expire so i'm trying to get out of the habit of just buying stuff because it is an amazing deal and i'm not sure if you guys watch well if you look it's a really really crappy video but last year i literally had maybe four after christmas shopping hauls I'm actually I absolutely love the holiday season but that's a little excessive so this year I have not been to the after sale after Christmas sale yet I do is a couple of things that I do need but I'm more so focusing on instead of just buying stuff buying stuff that I want just buying stuff that I love buying stuff that I will cherish and not buying stuff that causes so much frustration because being a lady of the house let's be real you're cleaning you're organizing stuff and i went through my you know stock of what i have for next year and i have an abundance of stuff so i had to really tell myself like why are you buying this stuff are you buying it because it's the price or are you buying it because you actually really need it and i think sometimes our minds become so clouded we see something that was especially at target like let me tell you i mean i think if you follow me on snapchat you know like i find amazing deals at target especially a lot of the items are 70 percent off and what i typically you know what i've been doing in 2016 is like really taking a step back and just understanding why I'm purchasing that item and do I have space in my home for that item. And if I purchase that item, you know, what type of desire is it going to bring to me? What type, you know, is it going to make me happy? Is it going to frustrate me because, you know, I got to move this around. I have to get rid of this. So if I'm really just trying to focus on buying stuff that I love and buying stuff in a sense that brings me happiness i mean i know that kind of sounds probably cliche or maybe even a little crazy to some of you but i'm really just trying to focus on buying stuff that is just not excessive if you follow me you also know probably last year as well that my local thrift store would have like an amazing deal 70 or 70 percent 75 percent off and i would just go crazy and it kind of worked out where they stopped having this out i mean i could just probably imagine i mean i really slowed down i would be like okay this is the set price and i still you know i still have like a thrifting budget so if i see something at a thrift store i will purchase it but i'm more so focusing on something coming in something coming out and as well as just really just not buying to buy because I think it's so easy, especially for me, it's so easy to buy to buy. And also, you know, this is sum up everything because I don't want this video to be like rambling and stuff like that. Right now, I am clearing out my closet because there are items that I just have. There's items that I have for had had forever, and it's time to get rid of those items. Of course, if you have you know like a Tiffany bracelet and you really love it and you bought it because you love it or you bought a Louis Vuitton bag or even something from the Dollar Tree. If you love it and it makes you happy and it is working, there's a reason why you're keeping it. So right now, typically what I do is I have a keep, donate, and throw away. And then the fourth section is I'm not really sure how I feel about this item. So I kind of feel like all of the other sections are explaining. You can, you know, you understand this keep, throw away, 
donate or I'm unsure. So for me, I'm just taking the time to really sit back and say to myself, so you have this item. I know a lot of times it's those pieces that are just so hard to let go. So what I'm doing is I have this item and I have something that set aside and I can sit there and give it maybe four to six months to say, okay, are you wearing it? Are you using it? Is it okay to let it go? And then sometimes it's easier to just tell your spouse or tell your girlfriend, your best friend or whomever, hey, you see that bag over there? When I'm not looking, get rid of it. If you ever see anything in that bin or if you ever see anything in that container, please just get rid of it for me. Because a lot of times it's so hard to get rid of things ourselves and we have to ask for help. Ask your friends, ask your family. And what I also do is when I have friends and family over, what I'll do is tell them I have a little box or a little bin or whatever it is at that moment. If you see anything in that box that you like, take it home with you and then you know I give them first dibs on stuff and then the rest of the stuff I'll donate so I just really try my best to or right now I'm really just trying my best to think twice about stuff that I purchase I you know sometimes I have to purchase stuff and I have to really think about it or even think about it before I purchase the item sometimes I'll just go to Target and walk around with the item in my basket and then I bring it back so I just wanted to share with you guys kind of like I guess it's kind of like my minimalist journey I mean I wouldn't call myself a minimalist because I guess like the structure of a minimalist is having like you know one of each or five of something or having that capsule um wardrobe which I can appreciate but I I am I'm, I'm true to myself and I'm true to me I do love stuff I do love shoes so it's not going it's not something that's going to happen overnight but i hope this all makes sense and thank you for the people who are watching learning my thoughts and learning my direction i feel like being a natural hair girl natural hair women is like we buy so many products we try out so many products so i find myself like i literally have enough products to last me buy anymore I, i'll try them but i'm not buying them at this moment i just really need to focus on the stuff that i have and appreciate the stuff that i do have because you know i don't need more nail polishes i don't need no more makeup makeup is another thing so i'm hoping mac please don't come out with nothing this year that i have to get <laughs> just joking i mean if it is something that i truly want i'll get it but I'm really just trying to think twice before buying stuff and just using the makeup that I have and the stuff that's old, throwing it away. Because there, you know, there is a certain amount of time that you are supposed to have makeup for. But thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see you in the next video and have a wonderful day.